Okay, let's try to tackle this second test failure right here where we're trying to have a nice welcome message after we create a user with valid information right here. So what we want to do is we've created our user. Let's create a new welcome message right here and we'll say something like welcome to the site comma and do something well we need that user's name so let's do this user equals and then we can do user dot name where we access the name alright so now we've got a welcome message we're welcoming them to to the site and then we d redirect to the user's path so now what we need to do is update our index here if we've if we've got a welcome so let's edit our app views users index and what we're going to do is maybe right here um, if welcome Uh, nil or yeah. and let's put if it's not nil then we're going to want to do something and that is let's put another paragraph in here which includes our welcome message okay so now we we're real good. We create this welcome message. If it wasn't there before, we don't display it. But if it if it's there, we're we're gonna display it. And so let's go ahead um, and uh, we'll, we'll worry about this class later. Just uh, look for that welcome message. So we're going to create a new user. Um, after starting up our server and we're going to look at that welcome message here so let's create a test and we have that user they've been added to the site but that welcome message didn't show. It's not there. And the problem is if we think about our uh, post redirect git, is that in our post, here's where we create our welcome message. We redirect it back to the user and they did a new get. And we've lost all the variables that we recreated up here. They're not visible to us anymore. And so this welcome message right here isn't available for us to access. And this is a problem because we know we want to do that redirection. So how can we create a message that we want to show not on this response, but on the next response? And this is such a, a common thing to deal with in websites because of the post get redirect issue that Rails has a special variable that it allows us to do. So let's look at that. Instead of creating a variable uh, of our own right here, what we're going to do is we're going to use an object that's been created for us called Flash. And it's called Flash because what it does is it flashes one time. The first time you go to the website, it shows up. But every time after that, it disappears. So let's make this a success. Uh, so after the user has successfully gone to the website, we're going to say, welcome to the site. And so now we can edit our index. And what we can do here um, is 
look at that flash message. So if flash success is not nil, then we can display that message. So now we've got our message and we're accessing our flash message. We can go ahead and create a new user again. Um, let's create testing2, testing2, and give it a password. And now we get the welcome to the site, testing2, like we wanted. And just to show you that this does actually flash, we will visit this listing one more time and it goes away because now we visited that website a second time. So we are able to show that message like we wanted to immediately upon creation but the next time we visit it disappears. So we've got that message we can go ahead and quit the server and run our test and and see what happens. Now the test is going to fail because what we didn't do is deal with this <coughs> CSS. We didn't set a class called alert success. So let's go do that real quick. Uh, let's just put in here alert success. So now we've got a paragraph with alert success that shows up and now if we run our test we should have that show up when we successfully add our user to the system. And now we got down to one error.